Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fallon here for Sputnik Entertainment. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm dealing with a bit of food poisoning, so if I don't have the most amount of energy for you guys today, that is why, but we're not taking breaks. Today's video is still coming out, and today we're going to be taking a look at OfferUp. As you guys know that I've spoken and shown you around a bunch of different online marketplaces. I showed you Poshmark, I showed you Mercari, I, I showed you some specialized marketplaces where you can rent and sell your camera gear. And OfferUp might be another company you might have heard of either as an ad or from your friends. But from my experience and playing with it for the past few hours, it looks like a nicer version of Craigslist. So pretty much it's very basic. This is your dashboard that you're greeted with when you first make your account. I made my account a few hours ago so I could show you some of the features and let's take a look at it. So let's say we're interested in a Nintendo Switch in Seattle, Washington area. I was trying to think of a fun area. So if I look for a Nintendo Switch or Nintendo products. Um, and these are all the Nintendo products that are based out of uh, Seattle, Washington area. Um, you can narrow it down by a mile radius, uh, pricing, and if you want it to be a local sale or uh, a shipped item. OfferUp has both aspects of it. I think they started out as just local sales, so you can sell to your neighbors or people in your community, but now they have postage sales. If I'm wrong about that and they have shipping from the very beginning, let me know in the comment section. But they seem to be promoting that as a new feature, at least on top of their site. Uh, shipping now available. So if I had to take a guess, it was not available at some point. So there's all sorts of listings that you can see. Um, and like I said, there could be either a local sale or something that could be shipped. So it's very basic. There's a bunch of different categories like cars and trucks, furniture, appliances, baby and kids, clothing and shoes. These are the main ones. And they have a smaller selection of some additional categories. Definitely not the biggest and the most integrated filters that you might see compared to some of the other sites we've taken a look at, especially with Poshmark that has hundreds of different filters you can narrow down. Um, but if you're interested in selling, you would click on sell and it tells you that post your items is in little as 30 seconds. Download our top rated iOS, iOS or Android app to, the, to post your items and you would enter your phone number or an email address and they will send you a link for the app. So from my understanding that you cannot directly post from the website, um, once again, if that is something I'm wrong or a misunderstanding, please let me know and I would love to hear. So let's see if we wanted to narrow down by category, what kind of things would come up around Seattle, Washington area. And of course, all of these are a bunch of different TVs. Um, mostly are based out of for pickup. And of course, TVs are pricey and difficult to ship unless you're a major company with boxing and shipping materials but enough of that so this is the nice feature so let's take a look at something that can be shipped like nintendo items so we're going to pull up a random listing like legend of zelda for game boy advance so this individual is selling Legend of Zelda Classic NES series. This food poisoning made me not able to speak. It's being sold by Kenny. Kenny has 396 ratings with a 4.5 star average and has a trust you member. So what is a trust you member? And that is how they're being verified and they do some identity uh, identity verification. Uh, he's verified for payments. He has a confirmed phone number, confirmed Facebook, and a confirmed email. So that is why he is a Trust You member. So it makes buyers feel a little bit more comfortable who they're dealing with and the same thing for the sellers. So they don't have to worry about uh, dealing with fraud, dealing with items being shipped not as described, etc. All the crazy 
uh, nonsense that sometimes happens when it comes down to sewing. So Kenny has a little bit of a description for this Game Boy Advance game. Uh, it's a used normal wear, uh, has a title for it, and what happens is that you buy it, it's been shipped, um, and then you receive your item. You, uh, another thing you can do is that you can make an offer for this item. So if you think that Kenny might sell it to you for a couple of dollars less, you would put in, let's say, $20 plus $3.29 shipping fee, and it will send it over to Kenny for review. You can also ask Kenny a question, and it will pop up in the messaging section uh, for him and you, and you guys have a bit of a communication forum happening. You can also save this listing as a favorite for future reference if you just want to have it and not lose it. And you can also share it by email and Facebook. So it does have a bunch of nice features that I appreciate on a platform. This is why I called it a bit of a fancy Craigslist. Craigslist seems to be very basic. And of course, it has a bit of a tarnished reputation, of course, for things that Craigslist has been associated with in the past, which we're not going to be talking about in this video. And if we take a look at our account settings, you have my offers, my boards, your profile, and some basic account features. And of course, you can log out. And it gives you a bit of a story of the company if you guys want to read through it. I actually read through it a little bit earlier. It talks about their founders, how it got started. Um, you can find out about their careers, about the ways that they make money. If you're an auto dealership, um, and I think this is one of the biggest ways they able to monetize their platform, is that I believe there is a fee for listing vehicles on OfferUp, or if you want to be a featured vehicle, um, because there is actually a wide variety of vehicles, as you guys can see, promoted, promoted, not just vehicles being promoted, but I've also seen some things being promoted as well. Um, and also if they come from a verified dealership, not just some random individual. So this kind of gives you a bit of an idea. I just want to give you some aspects is that if you're interested in selling and shipping items through it, how it works. So I have this pulled up. Uh, sellers pay a service fee when shipped items sell. The fee is either a minimum of $199 or 12.9% of the sales price. Uh, shipping labels, uh, the cost of shipping label or shipping is calculated when you list your items. It's based on the item's estimated weight. The cost will be shown on the item when you post it. Buyer, buyers pay for the label when their payment is collected. We'll send you the shipping label after you accept buyer's offer. So that's nice. That's how they do it. Um, so it kind of guesstimates how much uh, your item weighs and how much it's going to cost it to ship. I'm guessing if the guesstimation is wrong, you can modify it. Even if you can't modify it, um, you should still be in the profit. And also they have a nice little support section that goes over through some sections. How uh, to get your shipping label from chat messages, selling and shipping nationwide, paying for shipped items, how shipping uh, works for buyers, buyer protection and offer up, cancel, getting paid, uh, how shipping works for sellers, item wasn't delivered, item lost in the mail, and a few other things that might be not covered. So getting paid after shipping, of course. This is kind of the main point of this video is for you guys to generate some passive income and it has a little subsection for this too. Uh, when you ship, when you're, you ship items on offer up, buyers pay you through the app. Your transaction is private. You don't have to exchange account information with buyers. Uh, it tells you that you ship it pretty much, deliver it. When the item gets there, buyer has two days to evaluate it before the sales is final and then you pretty much get your money. Your money will transfer to your deposit account within five business days. Um, you also have a payment status and has a breakdown of how it works. So your buyer gets the item, has two days to inspect it. The sale is marked complete and the payment started processing five to six days left. You'll get another message when the payment is scheduled, four to five days left. You get another message when the money is deposited, one to two days left. 
and your bank finishes processing the deposit money, money's available. So they definitely keep you updated in the loop. Where are you when it comes to your money and, and uh, if we're there in the process of transferring it. So deposits, the first time you ship it, set up your deposit account by adding debit card or bank info to your offer up account. You must provide your deposit information within 90 days of a sale. So that is a nice feature that you don't have to provide them with account and routing numbers. Uh, Mercari does this as well. They do a debit card transfer and that technology seems to be uh, pretty recent and modern. I know that PayPal does it as well. And it's pretty cool that you don't have to link uh, your account and routing numbers that for people who have been selling online for the for a while must know about that before that you would put in your account your routing oftentimes your bank name and your name so they have all these records but nowadays you can just add your debit card information and somehow via online magic your money can be in the bank account from the sales you make so what do i think of OfferUp? i think OfferUp has a lot of potential it's definitely have a more smaller and niche uh following i believe i talked to you guys before about how poshmark i think it's very niche driven towards clothes and accessories uh, men's women's children's and some household items but i do believe that offer up is mostly focusing on secondhand goods often items that i have seen while browsing this website seem to be used uh either uh, gently used or used uh, in a smaller capacity but it's a lot of people who are trying to downsize they're trying to get rid of things they don't need anymore like this lawnmower like some vintage posters uh, like a baby stroller like some uh, summer reclining chair I mean oftentimes these items are not going to be uh, brand new so we're actually going to pull up this chair just to prove a point so it is a used chair with normal wear, a uh, summer recliner chair. One is in good condition, the other has paint spill on it, is asking $40 or best offer on the chair with the paint spill and 30 or best offer for the chair with paint spill. I'm sorry, without, uh, without paint spill and $30 with the paint spill on it. So, um, and of course, these individuals are not going to be shipping this chair to you. For forty dollars, it's a local pickup. They mark it as a local pickup. Some listings you might see do offer local pickup or being shipped. So just in case you find something you're looking for, and it can be shipped to you if you live in a different state or a different uh, city, you cannot get to them. That is very nice. Um, another nice feature I have found it is that they do promote that trust and safety. So I'm not sure if it's actually owned by them, but they try to um, create a nice, safe atmosphere when it comes to selling. Oftentimes when people sell in person or do like local sales, people are a little bit scared because they're just worried that might be a rub, they might be scammed, a lot of things that could happen. And they have a little bit of an overview that goes into it you uh user profiles trust you user ratings in-app messaging and community meetup spots so community meetup spots is a cool feature that you can actually post but put in your area where you based in and it tells you about the police departments or local businesses that participate in this program and the reason these places come up is oftentimes these places have security cameras that you feel safe that if anything uh, just in case goes wrong it will be recorded on video and they can be found on the uh, offer up app and they do also have a dedicated website so if you look up the community meeting spots and you might know them other users you might bump into other offer up users you might be able to start a mini community so let me know what you guys think of OfferUp. Have you guys used it before? What has your experience has been like? Have you guys been scammed or do you think it's a scammy website? Or have you been actually making some great passive income or even maybe primary source of income if you're very successful? I would love to hear your stories. 
once again, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of different platforms in the future. If there is a particular platform you want me to take a look at, or give me a, a name of it and why you should think it's worth taking a look at. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for showing all the love, especially for the series. I'm going to try to mix it up next week with different types of content. And hopefully you guys will stay in for the Friday video. Remember, now we're on Monday through Friday schedule. So click that subscribe and bell notification so you can be one of the first people that watches the video when it drops. Also, if you want to stay in touch with me on social and all my shenanigans that I get myself into, all the social links are in the description. And apparently there is a free toaster you can get in Seattle, Washington. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.